Hi, this is Tom Sant over at Aspire Rehab Center. I'm one of the physical therapists who work here. What we're going over today is going to be a cervical distraction for those of us who are having neck pain. Cervical distraction is, is very similar to the decompression machines we have here, except this is something you can do at home with the help of a spouse, a child that you trust pulling your neck. Filter that as you would yourself. Um, but it's a nice way for you to get some pain relief at home, don't have to go anywhere, it's free, it's easy. So, I'm just going to go over some of the ways that you can do that today. So, I'm going to have Melissa help me here. Melissa's going to lay on the table as such. A bed or couch, maybe even the kitchen table, if that isn't too odd for you. Um, works the best. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to put my hands around the back of her neck. I'm going to kind of interlock my fingers as well. And as I'm doing this, once again, I'm not bending over all the way, back for my back, that's no problem. So instead, you kind of get a walk stance. First hand is going to kind of be at the base of her skull. You just tell her to relax. The second hand is then interlocking kind of about halfway as such on the back of the head. And from here, you can then, if your hands slide a little bit, try and cup your palms on the side of their head, once again, you just want to pull it like an egg because, you know, obviously someone doesn't want their head being squeezed. So that's one way to do it, you just provide a nice easy pull backwards. And as I'm doing this, once again, my arms aren't going straight back, my body is. Another way that I honestly prefer myself is the same thing, and then put your shoulder on their forehead and then pull back. And once again, I said pull back, but I'm not pulling back. I'm leading my body back, as you can see here. I'm bending my knee too, once again, to help take some stress off my back. And you can do this intermittently. You can do this with a five second hold, do a 30 second hold, um, honestly, whatever feels best for you. So once again, here, hands are cut behind each other. My shoulder is on her forehead, and I'm just going back. Listen, how does that feel? It feels really good, actually. Okay. So, just because it's something that um, I paid a lot of money to figure out how to do that, I'm going to have Melissa show you um, herself. So, once again, I'm going to lay down here. Melissa's going to kind of just go over what I just said. Like that? Yep. So, I like your hands. And then just pull back. Lean back. Yeah. And so, that right there. I can feel that in my head. And the person who's having it done, they can kind of give you the feedback of, is that too hard? Is that not enough? Yeah, it's that simple. So that was kind of a neck distraction.